How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and I hope you're all enjoying the 1.4 update. It is absolutely massive. There is a lot to see and do and that's where I'm here to help you today. Huge shout out to ReLogic who gave me the update a little bit early so I could help you explore the new pylon system as well as the new NPC happiness system where they give you some hints about where they want to live in the world and how you can unlock pylons for fast travel and get around and do all this cool stuff. So what we're going to look at today is how the happiness system works, how pylons are unlocked and how you can get your world covered with them. And we'll do a bit of a world tour here at the end of the video and I'll give you some hints on which NPCs go together. But let's get started. Make sure you've liked and subscribed and we'll jump straight into it. Okay guys, this is a scene that I think a lot of us are going to see today. We've just got the Terraria 1.4 update, we've made our new world, so I made my master mode world, and I just wanted to get the NPCs in as quickly as possible, so I've made these rows of like block houses. Now in the old updates it didn't matter too much, but in the new ones, their happiness is actually impacted if they're in the wrong biome and if they're near too many people. So it can influence things like shop prices. So if we look at the grenades here, they normally only cost 75 copper, but maybe the uh, demolitionist is not too happy because he's charging 97 for them. So if we look at his happiness, he's saying there's too many people around, one mistake making dynamite, and well, they'd hate the outcome. And then he goes on to say he likes the tavern keep. So NPCs will actually save you money in Terraria if you look after them now. So for today, we're going to look at the Steampunker and the Cyborg. So let's look at the Steampunker's happiness. And they're like, oi, I absolutely hate crowded quarters. And then they go on to say how remarkable the Cyborg is. So they're like, okay, too many people, but I do like the Cyborg. If we look at the Cyborg, they're saying, yep, too many people. They said they like the Stylist and they also like the Steampunker. So we know already that these two like each other. So you kind of have to play detective and go around chatting to all the NPCs. Now, they didn't say which biome they like, so not all of them do. But if we look at the new golfer NPC, they literally say, I like the forest. So some of them will give you a very heavy clue about where they want to live. So we know the golfer wants to live around here. Uh, also, if you look at the shop, if the NPC is happy enough, they will sell you a pylon. So the Steampunker is not happy and the Cyborg is not happy. So we're going to fix that today. Now, you could build those houses. Here's another example of a basic house you could get started with. Now, I found out by accident that the, uh, the Steampunker likes to live in the desert biome. And I've got a bit of Hello creeping in here too. Now, if you are new to Terraria, and I'm sorry veterans, we do have a lot of new players today. Uh, you need some basic things to build a house. You need a crafting material. You also need some walls, a chair, uh, or some sort of comfort item, a table or a workbench, and uh, platforms or a door. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice uh, house for both our steampunker and also the cyborg. So we're going to start with a nice uh, outline there. Then we're going to fill it in with walls. And you guys are going to do a much better job at this than I am. I mean, this is super, super basic. It's just very, very get it started we're gonna put some table and chairs gonna put a torch on there now you also might need a door uh, to get in because not everyone has a rod of discord which is a later game item so we're gonna craft ourselves a door and we're gonna mine out this wall here and put our door in now you can only move NPCs around at night time or in the rain so it's a good thing we're getting this ready in advance now we're gonna build a second story for our other NPC so maybe the cyborg will live up here we're going to build it a bit off center because we're trying to be artistic here. So what we'll do guys, I'll finish this off. We'll zoom ahead to nighttime and we'll see how to get our first pylon. Let's zoom ahead. Okay guys, the nighttime is here and we have finished our desert palace here. <laughs> and uh, as I said, you guys can do a lot better, but this is all you need to get started. Now, if you want to check if your house is actually okay for NPCs, you can go to the housing icon and click the question mark and then click on a room and it will let you know if the housing is suitable. Now, if you're missing something, say we dig up that chair and we click again, it will say this house is missing a chair. So it, it really does help you get the basics down. So what we're going to do, we want to move in our cyborg and steampunker. We're going to click our housing icon, click the steampunker and put her in this room. And then we're going to click the cyborg and put him in the downstairs room. Now, a really good trick, and I think I mentioned that they only move at night or in the rain, is open your mini map and we're going to fly away a bit 
and at night you can see they move straight back in and <laughs> try and ignore all the fighting going on there's so many enemies around we're doing our best here people okay so they've moved into our new desert house and we're going to check their happiness again and now the steampunk is saying steampunk is saying plenty of room just for me and some good steam engines and then they go on to say that they like cyborg again but if we look at their shop they're now selling pylons so we've actually made them happy they're in the right biome i've actually seen a different response where they actually said they like the desert so i guess it's sort of a bit random so we're going to actually purchase a desert pylon so beautiful let's pick that up i'll sell those little pixie dust now let's also check in with the cyborg and they said zero close proximity life detected this is fortunate they go on to say they like the steampunker now you can see the cyborg is also selling pylons now if you're wondering why they're selling hello pylons as well it's because i'm in hard mode uh, if you're new to the game that happens about halfway through and this is the hello spreading through the desert now to use pylons what you need to do there's a few criteria basically you need some nice flat ground to put them on so we'll place that down now they need two npcs nearby now it's very important they don't have to be the two that sold you the pylon so you can change them up once you've earned it i suppose uh, and then you right click it and you'll get a view of your world map and as you can see i've been a very busy happy i've been digging elevators everywhere to check out the world and these are uh, pylon diamonds uh, all over the world are the different pylons you can get so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our jungle one now so you just left click it and you'll appear in the jungle now again very basic starter house i'm going to show you my main world in a moment and we'll have a good tour so if we look at her happiness the dryads she says solitude is sometimes good i kissed a tree in the jungle and i liked it and they go on to say they like the witch doctor and again if we look at the witch doctor and look at their happiness they say strong energy flows through unimpeded by neighboring present very presence very pleasant uh, and they go on to say they like the dryad now I think both of them sell a jungle pylon so they're in the jungle they like the jungle so they're selling the jungle pylons beautiful so a really good tip to get started guys find two NPCs that like each other make a basic house or a big house it's up to you and then you can get the pylon and then you can swap them around so we're going to move around our world here a bit we're going to go to our cavern pylon which is underground you can now build underground how cool is that so the arm stealer and the nurse are well known to like each other we'll check them out this is what i'm talking about privacy so the arm stealer likes to be by himself and he's sell selling the cavern pylon uh, and if we look at the nurse now some npcs and i'll just uh, teleport over here can't sell anything so make sure when you pick a pair you've got someone that actually has an inventory so i can heal with her and get the achievement as well and she says she's uh very happy but uh yeah she says what arms dealer i don't have a crush i don't shut up <laughs> uh but anyway so we now have our cavern pylon there so what we're gonna do that's our first pylon that's how you get it set up guys it's as simple as that so what we're gonna do now is run through my main world we're gonna look at which npcs work well to get you started and look at how to get them nice and happy let's go okay guys now you know the basics of how to set up your houses how to get your first pylons you're probably wondering which npcs go well with who and who should live in what biome so i'm going to give you a quick rundown of my main world here and we'll give you some tips to get you started in 1.4 straight away now the forest biome is a bit tricky because most npcs will move into your main base in the forest biome but i found i built this big tree and i put the new zoologist by herself uh, she's near the stylus which she seems to like and uh, she says she loves having a place to herself and she loves the forest so you can kind of tell she likes it and she is selling the forest pylon which is kind of cool that's what you want so it looks like she is your best bet for the forest pylon now for the snow pylon i was a bit surprised uh, most people know that the tinkerer and the mechanic like each other especially if you've been playing terraria for a while but when you speak to them I found when you move the mechanic into the snow biome she says I like the snow and that's because her machines don't overheat and she references the tinkerer and you can see she's selling the snow pylon so it seems like these two are a great pair if you're looking to get your snow pylon quickly uh, so the goblin he doesn't seem to care as much but he likes being near the mechanic and you can see he's also selling the snow pylon so what we're going to do so this is a great base to set up also you don't necessarily have to build like a snow hut i've got like a sky temple embedded in the snow here uh, for our next one let's go to our desert i briefly showed this at the start and this is referencing 
the uh, Steampunker and Cyborg we've already looked at, so we won't spend too much time here. But again, this is how you can get your Desert Pylon. And pretty much just saying, yep, yeah, good good room for some... Ah, yes, she's actually saying it here. I prefer, I prefer the wide open spaces here in the desert. Great for jetpack joy rides, maybe referencing another game there. Um, so I think a great way to get started with this system, guys, is find two NPCs that like each other and put them in the biome that they like. Uh, so for next, let's go to our hello one. Now this is a bit tricky because uh, the wizard doesn't reference that he particularly likes the hello, but when you put him in the hello, he goes, what's not to like about the hello? It has unicorns and rainbows. Now he doesn't reference any other NPCs here, but you can see he's selling the hallowed pylon. And I found that the party girl was very, very, uh, very obvious about liking the wizard. So she said, this is all mine. I'm going to throw the biggest party. And then she goes, why do I like the hello? Because it has rainbows. Uh, and she, she actually says she likes the uh, wizard. Now, one note of caution here, this room in the middle is actually available. And I had the tax collector move in and all of a sudden these two stop selling their pylons. So I think what's happening with the system, guys, there's some kind of hidden point system. So currently they might be, say, plus 10, but when the tax collector moved in, they went too low to sell pylons. So definitely something you might, might want to look at. And I've got the tax collector all by himself under the ground there. So, But again, we'll find out more as this update goes on. Now, for the ocean biome, I guess you, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess which ones uh, will live in the ocean. But I made an underground ocean palace. And what we did is we put the pirate and the angler next to each other. And he's like, yep, I get to be with my fish. Now, unfortunately, they're doing that crazy thing. I'll see if I can move them a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful. And we'll see his, uh, he's like, tis like having my own galleon matey, ahoy. And he says about liking the angler. And they actually sell the ocean pylon. They're selling the jungle pylon too, which I haven't got yet. But I think that's because the jungle is literally right there. So if you can get two uh, biomes to overlap, uh, NPCs may sell you both pylons. So that's kind of cool. Uh, now for the next one, this was kind of tricky. If you look at my map here... Everything is on the right side or the middle of the world. I had nothing on the left and I'm like, okay, I need the jungle one. So here's what I came up with. Uh, and I'll put a link on screen. I've actually built this in a video. I made an artificial jungle biome here. It's actually a bubble and I've got a teleporter that's wired to go inside. So th what this is, guys, if you put 80 jungle blocks down, you'll get an artificial jungle biome. And I've put the uh, dryad here. And we looked at this quickly before, and she, yep, she likes trees. And she's selling the jungle pylon. She's also selling the desert pylon, because if we teleport outside, this isn't a jungle biome. I just put it near a forest and a desert one. So it's kind of cool what you can do with this system. And I know this video is a little bit sort of chatty and a bit long, but this is kind of like an exploring thing at the moment. Now, I don't know how you got outside. Did you teleport when I teleported? You crazy witch doctor. Anyway, he says, I cannot fathom existing elsewhere, jungle, etc, etc. So he's selling desert and the jungle as well. Now, the last one we need to check out is a bit, uh, it's like two in one, okay? So you can make underground pylons. You can also make de uh, mushroom pylons. So everyone knows the arm stealer and the nurse like each other. It's like they reference it, I think. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about, privacy. Think Carly, the nurse, Evan, you know, checks me out. Hey, chicky babe. Um, now, he's selling a mushroom one. Now, normally he would sell a cabin, so I'm claiming this as the underground pylon, but it's because there's, there's this massive mushroom biome here. So, I think there's a little bit of overlap that we've seen. Unfortunately, we didn't get the, uh, the cabin one. And if we talk to the nurse, she's saying, yep, these digs are great, and yep, about the arms dealer. So, there's a little bit of overlap, so there's one pylon we're missing. I'm not sure if you can get a space one, I don't think so. But that's pretty much how it works, guys. So as you can see, I can get around most of my world. I did test with cavern ones. They work for underworld as well. Not sure about space yet. As I said, this is very early for us still. Like, I'm sure a lot of you are going to get on Reddit and share ideas and comments. This is just, if you want to get started, here's some great ideas. Big shout out to ReLogic again. I appreciate you giving me time to set this up and have a play with it. Um, if you've got any questions about it, about who likes to, maybe ask them as well. They might be able to give you a bit more info. I'll put a link to Loki's um, 
a forum post in the description. He gave a good post on as well. Also, if you're looking for more Terraria 1.4 videos, make sure to subscribe. I'll be covering it over the next day. There's a lot of cool stuff to look at, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Relogic. And here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya!